Howdy folks, got another kit for you today, this one's from Tamiya, it's a brand new tooling for 2020, uh, 135 scale KV1 model or 1941 early production, so this is the uh, commercial sample, Zaki if you go and buy one today, yours is going to be exactly the same, so let's take a look at what we get inside the box, great with a nice box art, there's one of the paint schemes, um, colours are on the side, they're casting you to mix the colours together, olive drab and yellow green together to get the uh, Russian colour. Uh, again, kit number is uh, 372 or 35372 whatever way you want to do it. Um, and there's another option, a bit boring that one. To me this is pretty cool it's, you get this inside the kit as well in your instruction piece um, it's to do with back in the, the war time Germans were printing paper models and making them up wooden models to identify um, German tanks and stuff uh, and then fire enemy tanks um, so you get one of these inside the kit at this size you can make a little model Tip curve to me, top opening box. So you're greeted with information and your colours, your worksheet, tips and tricks. One, two, three, four, five bags, clear. So we'll take a look closer look at this now. So you're greeted with this nice information. Uh, that's in Japan language. Um, uh, if you wish to read it, um, also it comes in English. Um, and there's Japan language again. Nice. Uh, I don't know if we call that a, a diagram of what parts go where and what parts of what, but obviously it's in Japan language, so you have to do. There's an English version. So you get your colour call outs. I do like this one, which is one from the box art. This one's pretty much the same, but without the uh, free whatever that says. I can't read it because it's Russian. And um, that little model I was talking about is down the bottom there. And there's the wooden mock-up that was from the war. I believe this is in the tank museum or something at Boddington. Where they might have got that from. Um, and there's the 135 scale model at the bottom compared to the 120 scale wooden mock-up from the war. Pretty cool. The uh, colours they call out to mix yellow, green and olive green. One, one for one. So 50-50 mix to get the uh, Russian green but... There's plenty of other manufacturers out there that do, do close enough colours or whatever. Tips and tricks. Anyone that's not quite sure how to do certain things. Pretty cool that they give you this. You get this with all kits these days. So here's the worksheet. A little bit of information. Your colours acquired. Tools required, should know this by now. There's a um, booklet page for a change. I do like this instead of the old pull out page, it's a pain because you end up getting it all over the place and it's hard to do it on camera, especially for videos anyway. So, the first step unfortunately, it's not a bathtub hole, it's, it comes in several pieces, but it'd be typical of Tamir. The kit should be uh, 
fit should be no problem so there's no problem putting this together so you've got a lower hole two sides support piece back and then you're working on the upper deck is drilling out some holes for probably storage and extra pieces some headlamps or lights going on probably or mirrors I'm not sure what they actually are part of the uh, back of the uh, tank uh, you've got a cover going over looks like one of the f engine decks or e uh, engine cover drilling out holes at the front front glacius the tank you've got exhaust covers probably or engine covers again another support piece on the front glacier then you've got suspension pieces there's only a small amount of suspension pieces to go on don't forget to cut the tabs off uh, and then repeating the same step on the other side a couple of I'm not sure little pieces there and then you've got your um, drive sprocket road wheels idler wheel return rollers and then you've got your suspension arms I've, to my understanding they've got these pins on a certain way so when you put them in they there's no there's no way for them to move they fixed in a certain angle so repeating the step on the other side putting all your wheels in but i uh, recommend you not to glue like it says here your idler wheel and drive sprocket so when it comes to do the tracks you can adjust the um wheel so you can get them into the right place nice touch you get link link on link tracks so again the, the it's basically repeating both sides and they are calling out for how many links it doesn't say can't find it on there well you've got long pieces and then you've got halves so it should be no problem side vendors going on drilling out some holes again for stowage gluing your side vendors on so unfortunately with this one you might want to leave the fenders off towards the end and then put them on or it will depend how you will do it or you could put the tracks on and then paint them separately it will depend how you want to do this So this section here is the supports for the uh, fenders and stuff uh, and then you've got your stowage to go in your turret ring um, teeth section turret ring and then you've got tow hooks fenders lights um, driver's hatch and, and stuff there's another hatch at the back of the tank I don't know what that's for um, but then you've got the inside of the hatch if you're having it open you've got the uh, handles for the uh, open of the hatch and then you've got your tow tow cables going on they give you some black rope for this which is a bonus i like the black rope instead of the uh, white crap they give you and then your lower half of the turret you've got inside your turret you've got several pieces to make up so it fits the um top turret going on you've got the handles the side pieces going together to make the box dropping your top piece down some more gussets or whatever you want to pay them for the uh, underside of the turret then you've got your couplers and vision ports and stuff machine gun then you're working on the breech commander's hatch I'm not sure what those pieces are um, and then you're working on your gun mantlet and the gun again having the hatch open or closed it's totally up to you if you have an open you can put your commander figure in hanging out um, and then dropping your turret in and it's ready for paint a little bit for more information about how you do decals and stuff nothing interesting so we work our way down in no particular order this screw here contains the lower hole upper hole, sides and rear typical Tamiya fashion details quality KV1 is one of the early uh, 
tanks so it's primarily made of rivets of its construction This one here is the tracks. Two sprues identical. So here's the long pieces of track. Got a little bit of clean up to do, but should be no problem. And there you are suspension arms, smaller pieces of track and then you link on links to go to the curvature, tow hooks, the large piece that goes on the top, and it's got natural sag into it as well, which is a nice touch again. This one contains storage and wheels. I believe there's two of these the same. So again quite a large sprue. The, in the uh, inserts of the wheels I believe they are machine gun, support gussets for the fenders, uh, idler wheel, drive sprocket, storage there's the um, detail on the uh, exhaust covers, road wheels, and then the uh, inserts and caps. A little bit of glass for a light and tow cable, which is in browny, blacky colour ropey stuff so it looks pretty cool it's never seen them to do it this before normally it comes in white and you, and you have to paint it or dye it or whatever which is annoying this one here is your fenders so you've got more gussets machine gun housing support parts engine deck which is here this is the rear of the tank and then you've got your side fenders this is part of the back of the tank more supports not sure what these are but they're detailed i think that could be to do exhaust system probably part of the towing system more supports pretty good nice and clean and crisp Once I finish building the Russian seaplane I'm doing, I will move on to this tank. Again, nice detail on the turret. It's got cast beat up texture into the me into the plastic, looks like metal, which is a nice nice touch, very nice, and it's rough as well. Just like cast cast metal. Again, the up upper detail looks like it's cast. And then you've got your gun, which is slide moulded, again, which is a nice touch, nice touch slide moulded barrel. Gun manlet, again, it's got that texture over it of cast, gun breech, front glacier, even down to the rough technature, te uh, what was texture of the metal as it's like where it's been cut, which is again nice touch. Attention to detail on this kit is superb. Um, just before I mentioned, did forget to show you the decals. As I say, very basic. 
Um, not a lot for washing vehicles. Don't have to do these, you can do any other markings you wish. So there you go folks, another kit from Tamiya, 135 scale, as I mentioned, brand new tooling for 2020, KV1. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.